Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve at home today. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. Today we're going over your pictures. Steve, you got anything good for us today? We got a bunch of good stuff today. Welcome to episode 54. We want to see your helmet pictures. So if you want to be on this show, get a free decal and maybe win a free t-shirt, email your photos to pics at greengridiron.com. I got another 10 or so really good ones to get to today. And Steve, here's my question. I want you to leave your comments below. Who is your favorite 54? Let's jump right into it, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so first up is Jedrick. And this might look familiar to you. Did I build it? Oh, yeah. That, that is one of the ones that we did, right? It is. Oh, geez. What is he, a photographer? It's did a cool picture, it? right? Did he pay somebody to get this done? This looks like it's like, uh, I don't know, it's going to be used in an HBO series or something. You know what? I think that this is one of two things. This is either somebody who knows how to uh, mask the object and then blacken it, which they did a great job, or it's an app in your iPhone just called, um, I think it's called Studio or Stage Lighting. And it does this automatically and it does a good job. Either way, these are both excellent pictures. Yeah, I, I think they're both pretty cool. Uh, I think this is great. I'm assuming he's number 26. I would think so. Yeah, I, and you know, for a helmet that has no decals on the side, so it's pretty barren, but that visor, man, it really takes this thing to another level, don't you think? I, I, yeah, absolutely, and the face mask color. And, yeah, the face mask color and, you know, just having the numbers on the, uh, the face mask or the visor clips like that, that match the, the decals that he put on the visor, which I think that the, both of those come just in kind of the, the packs with all the Under Armour visors. Yep. I think this thing looks great. I got to give it a good score. Um, I'm, Steve, I'm going to go with, I'm gonna go with the 7.9. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's a great start, right? And I, and I love those photos. I like them a lot. Same here. Good work. I wouldn't change a thing with the pictures. So yeah, nice stuff. job. Thanks for sending that, that in, Jedrick. All right. So next up is Cole. And Cole says, Hey, I'm Cole from Dallas. I'm a big fan of y'all's show and a huge helmet geek. I'm a big Mizzou fan and wanted to do a throwback helmet in the 2000s. Not a fan of the 360s, and I see why it's discontinued because it's really hard to work with. <laughs> You can, especially when you put it kind of next to a Riddell Speed and a Riddell Speed Flex, you can definitely see the progression of how the Riddell helmets have evolved from one model to the next because this, the 360 had a lot, of, a lot of good things, a lot of good ideas in there, but it was almost like they tried too much too soon. It was a big helmet. Yeah, and you could tell that the the uh, rear the decal on the rear bumper is actually a shut decal. It's kind of in the in the shape of a shut. The Riddell ones are much much you know bigger or wider. Yeah, uh, and it's the same thing for the one on the front. So that that decal on the front would go perfect on either any of the shut helmets that have clips up at the top or a Riddell Speed because you got to have that the decal's got to fit between the face mask clips. But with the 360 and obviously with the um, the Speed Flex. There are no clips up at the top, so you gotta have you need to have a bigger decal. But overall, a lot of good stuff going on with the design here. Really good job. I I like it when there's a chin strap. A lot of guys like the the, the chin strap delete option, which is what we got on this one. Um, overall, though, converting this 360 into a Missouri helmet that now can have a nice home on a shelf somewhere, I think it's did pretty good. I'm gonna go, Steve, with a 7.2. Nice. You're feeling the scores today. I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right. Next up is Robert H. Where do you see this one? So he says, pretty much every Penn State fan knows that the original school colors were pink and black, dating back to the late 1800s. They say the pink faded to white and the black turned to navy, giving us our current look. The pictures don't do this wild-ass paint job any justice. Whew. <laughs> Wow. Well, you got pink, black, and white. You got a blacked out Nike visor. Uh, uh, Steve, I think this is great. 
I think it is awesome. I mean, it's totally unique and everything he did, look at the little chin strap, the little, it's very, very cool. Um, that's a custom chin strap. It says Penn State on it from Sports Star. So he, he either he used a decal or he got it from Sports Star. The, I, I'm assuming that's a decal on the chin strap cup. Yeah. Um, overall, Steve, I got to give this one a pretty high score. I'm going to go with an 8.7. Yeah, I like that score. I think that's what I would have given it to. I okay. love the uniqueness. It's so cool. Yeah. Thanks, Robert. Uh, yep. Really good job, Robert. All right, next up is Eli. Oh, boy. Okay, so actually, so here we've got some shot clips. Just imagine those in pink, and then you can put them on that Penn State helmet. Oh, yeah. So we got a lot of good stuff going on here, too. Is this a Rawlings helmet? It certainly says Rawlings on the ch chin strap straps. I think it is. Um, I don't know. I don't recall which one it is. Yes, this is a Rawlings, maybe a, I don't remember the names of them all. Uh, definitely a Rawlings face mask, definitely a Rawlings chin strap. It all looks smudgy, right? It doesn't look terrible, but it all looks very like unpolished. Yeah, the face mask is definitely painted because you can see you even got some of the blue on the clear clips. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool color schemes and everything because it's uh, very close to what Michigan's colors are, but not, but not exact, but not far enough so far off that you wouldn't obviously assume this is Michigan, yeah. um, even with the, the big M on the front bumper. But overall, you know, I think that the overall did a really good job here and the, having the visor, the shock 1.0 visor in there, it fits, looks like it fits perfect. And it's the right color to, to go with this helmet, which I think is a nice, a nice touch. Um, Steve, I'm going to go with a 7.0. Mm, I like the creativity there too. I think it's interesting seeing those decals and doing the photos just on the plain white was probably smart. So yeah, I think, I think a good amount of work went into that helmet. Oh yeah, I bet you. But overall, you know, I think that the overall did a really good job here and the having the visor, the shock 1.0 visor in there, it fits, looks like it fits perfect. And it's the right color to, to go with this helmet, which I think is a nice, a nice touch. Um, Steve, I'm going to go with a 7.0. Mm, I like the creativity there, too. I think it's interesting seeing those decals and doing the photos just on the plain white was probably smart. So, yeah, I think, we, I think a good amount of work went into that helmet. Oh, yeah, I bet you. So next up is William love some outside pictures and i know you're gonna like well, the simplicity except for the gray face mask <laughs> well actually with these pictures they're they're kind of on the um bright or lighter side right and i gotta say i love the simplicity you know that i like this the, the simple ones uh it's just the right amount of chrome in these decals it's just like a nice little touch and i you know it's not the exact same color gray between the face mask that's in the decals, but it's a close enough. And I think that it goes, it, it ties everything in nicely. And you know, that's one thing I, one reason why I don't particularly like gray face masks. Take the New York Giants, for example, or Alabama. They're wearing gray face masks, but it's the only thing on their helmet that's gray, right? Yeah. Uh, yep, the only exactly. thing. Yeah. Now they might have gray pants or some gray in their uniform, but it's not the same color gray. Steve, I'm gonna go for what this helmet is, Steve. I am gonna go with a, 7.8. Wow, nice. Wait till you see these next ones. This is from Viller. Oh. Is this, uh, what, what do you call this, Steve? Force perspective? It's exactly. This is force perspective all day. This is just the V-E-G-O-P. You know, what's interesting, when, when, when Shut came out with the Vengeance helmet, they came out with a line of face masks, and this being one of them, and all the face masks were, like, different. This actually might be a VEGOP too. You know, I don't know. They, they, they did a couple of different weird EGOP style face masks. I gotta look it up. This might be it. Huh. But all of the, they use the same type of style codes that they had used in their DNA helmets and their, in their uh, XP helmets or their Super Pro face masks, their ions. But then they made all the face masks kind of weird Mm. And then the teams wanted 
the more traditional looking ones. So then they came out with more styles of face masks because that's what people were more comfortable with or were more, were more, they were more used to. And they added T-R-A-D to the end. So they had the V-E-G-O-P became the V-E-G-O-P T-R-A-D for traditional. So it was a little bit backwards the way they did it. They should have just come out with the regular ones and then come out and then instead of calling them traditional, just call these something different. Yeah, you're exactly right. Although that's a cool piece of information that probably a lot of people did not know. Or nor did they care. <laughs> or that they don't care. So as far as all of that goes, we got a white helmet with a blue face mask. Uh, we've got a, what looks, I, mean, I don't know if this is a clear visor or well, there's a color in there, but it looks like one of these visors has a bunch of, um, in that second picture, what, what, what's that? What's that, what's that pattern called, Steve? I don't know. It looks a little bit like money symbols and Louis Vuitton and stars. And I, I don't, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I think it might be. I don't know if this is a sleeves visor. I don't know what it is. Um, and then you've got the mouthpiece there with the teeth. I don't know whose that is either. It's not really my, my, my thing. I love the pictures. I think you yep. did a good job. I think these pictures take this helmet to a level that it needs a little help to get there. I'm going to yes. go with 6.9 on the, the, the helmet with the visor and all the pieces, um, which is about as I, I think is pushing the limit over, <laughs> over those pictures overclocked it. How's that sound? Yeah. The pictures really, really cool, odd, cool down low perspective kind of wouldn't change a thing. I like seeing the playground, the background, the turf, really nice work. Speaking of nice work, here comes Nick. And he says, here's a helmet based off of LT, Lawrence Taylor's helmet. We use an old shut air advantage for that beat up look. Hope you like it. This is my first helmet I made. I plan on doing more. Oh, sweet. First helmet. Wow. This looks really, for a first helmet, this looks really nice. It really does. Really. I mean, the, the, for being the first. I'm glad yeah. that he put the decal on such a slope the way that they were. Sure. And that blue is pretty close. Uh, it's very close. And we've got white buckles on here. Uh, we've got, I, I don't know, we've, to me, Steve, that beat up look kind of makes it better. It does. Yeah, this right? was smart. It all the looks, right, all the right decisions. It looks like a helmet that was worn and then reconditioned and then worn and then reconditioned and and here we have it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I think great job. Um, not just because I'm an LT fan, but I'm going to give this one a, a really good score because it's not easy. Even this, this is not easy to just go to a website and order all the pieces. It takes no. a lot of work to put stuff like this together, and we, you know, I definitely see it and appreciate it. I'm going to go with an eight point one. On this okay. Guy. Cool. Yeah. And I like that there were pictures taken outside. I guess I wish that there were a couple more. There probably was nothing exciting to see on the back or he would have shown it. But um, yeah, let's, let's get some more pictures next time. Next up is Grant. And Grant has watched this um, show. <laughs> Grant is taking things to another level. <laughs> you think Grant's mom knows that he put the helmet in the... Uh, what kind of flowers are these? Those are pansies. Pansies? I was going to yeah. say petunias, but it goes to show you what I know. Yeah. yeah. Flowers. Um, Look at this one. Oh, my. Is that a real lizard? Yeah. Or gecko? Or what is it? A, I, I don't, that I don't know. It's some sort of a... I don't know. <laughs> it, it does look real, though. Oh, yeah. I think it's real. Actually, he wrote it. something. I'm sorry, he's put custom Missouri helmet that I designed and painted myself. The stripe goes from the helmet to the face mask and covers, colors invert, sorry. I love helmets, your show, and Mizzou. I got the black decals, the visor, and the clips from Green Gridiron. There's no mention of the gecko. No, how are or you the, gonna mention that and not the gecko, man? Or, or, or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> I, I love it, I mean, great job, and, and the, the lizard puts it over the top. Uh, I love the inverted uh, yep. stripes on the face mask and the the stripes on the helmet. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is, I, I love seeing unique pl pieces like this. And I gotta say, it even matches the colors of the flowers. Dude, 
I was just going to say, and what's not in here is um, he said he's 13. I'm going to tell you right now, of a 13-year-old kid to do this himself, to think of inverting the colors, to yeah. put it in the matching face ma or the matching flowers. Yeah. Like, are you? I know 30, 40-year-olds that wouldn't think of this. I am in love with this. This is absolutely going on the title image. I'm going to go with a 7.4. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> the, 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 the side of the helmet, the, the M on the side is a little rough. This is from Rarty. He says, hey, I hope you all are well. I'm Rarty, and I'm from Portland in the state of Maine. I've been a huge fan of you guys' work, and this is a special helmet from his senior year of high school. He had to update the face mask, though, because his last one was bent. Well, I think he did a good job with the update of that face mask. Uh, uh, no, know I like it. Yeah, I think it looks great. I think I love the color scheme, even though the purples don't match on that Oakley sticker. I kind of like the the prism colored uh, visor in here. It doesn't really go with anything, but I think that that's totally fine. Um, yeah, you're right. You got no chin strap, or the you know he took that off for whatever reason. But the horn looks good. You know, I I almost wonder if it's painted on instead of a decal to see how it kind of goes over the I'd the say it's, I'd say it's definitely painted look at how the Noxy sticker he took off the face mask and huh. put on the bumper that's interesting yeah that's cool yeah, I like that. That, 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 that that shows that it's from us too and it's original which I love I love yeah. when people just think of their own stuff yeah it's very all good people. I like it. I, yeah, I think that overall this is really good. Even though it's it's, even though the helmet's kind of beat up, it's got some you know battle scars on there. It's got a brand new face mask on it, so the mask actually looks nice and new. But the helmet, not so much. But it, I don't know it's something about it. It's all nice and clean, and it's a that purple and white. You don't see that too often. Yeah, Steve, I'm gonna go with this guy. I'm gonna go with the seven point five. Yeah, that's cool. I, like I really do like this. Really good, and uh, thanks for sharing your special helmet, man. So next up, Jay, and last already, believe it or not, of the day, is Cowan. And he says, hey, I'm Cowan. I'm a huge fan of your show. I just wanted to show off my Auburn helmet built with a few small detailed pieces I've added. An RB decal on the back is in memory of Rod Bramblett. He's the athletic announcer who tragically died in 2019. Check this beautiful helmet out. Oof. That visor is an exact match with that stripe. Yep. Looks fantastic. I don't, what, is, what is that? The one it's second? The, it's the, I, yeah, like the game clock down to one second. I think that that's cool. I like that. I'm wondering if there's a specific significance to that in, for a specific game, possibly. There has to be, and I, I kind of wish that he mentioned why, but I'm telling you, this is just a beautiful looking helmet. Everything well, about it is spot on. Yeah, it's a great job. And you've got, I mean, look at the the holes. Yeah. Per, are perfect. That's like NASA specs. <laughs> yeah, almost makes me think that it's painted on, but I'm pretty sure that it's not. No. You, got the three, you got the 3D bumpers. Those look great. All the decals on the back, really, really nice bringing the whole back together. Back, the back is beautiful. See, let's see that front again. Because the, the sides are nice. I mean, I don't know. The front, you've got that visor that really, really ties the whole thing in. And, you, and the 3D bumper. Then you get the Tigers on the um, Sports Star chin strap. Really good job. I mean, this is... Dude, you know what I'm thinking? What's that, Steve? <laughs> I'm thinking this guy needs to... I think this guy needs to get a perfect... He's getting a t-shirt. Oh, yeah? You give him a pick? I am. This is outstanding. The pictures are outstanding. The colors are outstanding. Like. This is above and beyond cool to me. Uh, you know what? I was gonna I was gonna put this up into the nines, but you gave him the t-shirt, so boom, he gets the pick for that from you. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna yeah. go with a 9.2, Steve. But it is great. There's not really the, there's nothing really wrong with anything that I can find about it, but I I, I love it too. I can't imagine how he cut these out. <laughs> So because of your effort and your photography skills in this beautiful helmet, you earned yourself a free t-shirt, Cowan. So yeah, and everybody else who we talked about today gets a free decal. Yeah, yeah. So that's all we got for episode 54. And if you think that you want to see your stuff on this show, 
We want to see them. Email them to Just, picks at greengridiron.com. Steve, who is your favorite 54? Oh, I almost forgot. You know, you might not like this answer. Oh, okay. But I, I'm a fan. I always was. I'm going with just good old Brian Erlacher. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, man. What about you? I don't hate that answer. I'm, I'm going with Chris Spielman. Chris Spielman. Is he on the Lions? He was on the Lions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio State guy, I believe. Oh, cool. All right. It's not what I would have thought. Yeah. yeah you know, I don't even remember where I went to college. But yeah, I really love that guy back in the day. That's cool. But yeah, I can see Erlacher. All right. I'll give you that one, Steve. I'm, I, want, I want to see in the, below who your favorite 54s are, too. Listen, really appreciate it. Another uh, round of great photos. Can't wait to see what you have in the future. And hey, I'm still looking for somebody to give us the Heisman in the photos. Yeah, what's up with that? Maybe we need to announce that in the beginning of the show next time. Yeah, next time we'll announce that in the beginning. But if you're still watching, we really appreciate it. You are awesome. Yes. And uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching.